Hello, happy Sunday. Isn't it hard to leave those babies when you got to go back to work? Well, <clears throat> there's a woman that had a daycare home and the lady had to uh, go out and pick other kids up from school. So she loads up her van and she takes off. Well, somebody rides by and they call the police because she left a baby on the driveway in his car seat. Closed. She closed them. There's a mother who uh, <clears throat> interviews a babysitter. She says, you know, my child's been really sick, has a lot of allergies, can't be around cigarette smoke, can't be around animals. So she decides to pop up one day at lunchtime. And she can hear her baby screaming and crying. She knocks and knocks at the door. No one answers. So she walks in. She runs back to her screaming child. He's in an automatic swing. And she lifts him out and hugs him and holds him. And she goes through the house looking for this babysitter. She's out on the patio with a cat smoking a cigarette. The devil is a liar. She told her her child could not be around that. The woman says, oh, well, if I smoke, I smoke outside. And this cat, this cat is a stray. This cat was on the upper deck patio. So there's another woman. She goes to pick her baby up. And when she gets to the apartment, there's a note on the door that says, go across the hall. So she knocks on the door across the hall, across the hall, and a woman answers, and she said, I'm here to pick up my baby, but there's nobody there. You talk about terrified. This woman was terrified. She didn't know where her baby was or what was going on. The woman says, oh, he's here. And she says, well, where is he? It's like, I'll get him. Well, in the meanwhile, all his little kids run to the door. And they've all got little sores all over their body. They got chicken pox. She's then left this woman's newborn baby with a neighbor that she doesn't even know. Because she had to run an errand. And all the little kids in the house got chicken pox. What the hell? There's another woman goes to drop her baby off. She hears a baby crying. The front door is open, but the screen is locked. She maneuvers the screen door. She gets the screen door open. So her and her baby go in, and there's another baby in there. Just screaming and crying. And she picks up that baby and comforts that baby and all the other little kids are just sitting there on the couch. And the babysitter's passed out. Well, she finally gets her to wake up. And she says, what's wrong with you? What's going on? You not feeling well? She said, oh, I had a migraine. I had to go to the hospital in the middle of the night and they gave me a shot. She said, you can't watch these kids like this. So she takes all the kids out of the house 
and she goes and talks to her employer and she's just in tears and she tells her employer the story and how she could not leave those kids there. And this woman couldn't even walk. She was literally holding on to the walls, trying to walk to the bathroom to put water on her face. Um, there's a woman that goes in to pick up her child at the daycare. And the uh, daycare lady's husband is sitting on the couch with this 10-year-old girl on his lap. So she says, she's a little big to be sitting on your lap, isn't she? Oh, he's just smiling, grinning, talking about how that's his buddy and this and that. No. You got to watch out for your kids. You got to watch out for other people's kids. And you need to intervene this behavior. That last lady was on drugs. This man is a pervert. Um, this one lady, she put in uh, cameras in her home. Lots of times it's better to have your kids babysitter come to your home and they have access to their toys, games, all the stuff you need. You don't have to load them up, take them out and all that. So the woman noticed, you know, marks on her child and stuff like that. So she installed these cameras. This woman was shaking her baby, smacking her baby, shaking her baby. It was crazy. Um, so we need to make sure that our children are safe. Reach out to a family member, a co-worker, someone that you trust, and try to find care for your kids. Make sure they're in a safe place. And don't ever, ever overlook things when you see them. If you feel something in your heart, take notice. Speak out. Don't let it go. Don't brush it off. Um, you know, you got to check people's backgrounds, their history. Like I said, put cameras in your home. Um. Drop in at various times of the day. Um, and remember uh, that we have FML life. If uh, you need to take off work and care for an injured child, sick child, hurt child. And if you ever run into a situ situation like this where you have to pull your child out of a daycare, uh, contact your local emergency daycare assistant. And as always, I love you. Take care.